Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So up to now we have learned some of the main concepts in the unit testing. That is nothing but test suite, expectations and spec. These are all the things we have learned. Now the only one thing remaining in our uh, unit testing concept is that is nothing but matcher. What is this matcher? So we have previously written one matcher without knowing this. So dot to be. So what is this dot to be? So let's try to learn about this matcher. So why we need to use this matchers in Jasmine. Now if I try to open the documentation here matchers. Um, what I can say is matcher. A matcher is nothing but it is just a function. So matcher is just a function. So if you try to see that to be it is just a function. If you try to see it, to be is taking some value. And this function implements a boolean comparison between the actual value and the expected value here is the main thing so we have already discussed that matcher is just a function and what does this function do this function implements a boolean comparison so that means this com this function does a boolean comparison between the actual value and the expected value here for the matcher you will get an expected value and it will check with the actually whether these both are matching or not so that is nothing but a matcher so here in our project in our in our unit test so what we have written expect calculator dot total dot to be a five so that is the only thing right we have used the matcher so expect calculator of total dot to be a five so here we have used the matcher so what is this line so we are expecting calculator dot total so calculator dot total is an actual value dot to be to be is in matcher and for that matcher we are passing the expected value so if you try to see here expect of calculator dot total dot to be of 5 which means calculator dot total is the actual value and 5 is the expected value and now and in that to be matcher so that to be matcher is there right in that it does the boolean comparison which results the value to be true or false so that means here in this one so that to be matcher does the boolean comparison between the actual value and the expected value and returns that whether the comparison returns it true or false so that the to be matcher does under the hood the to be matcher does the comparison so now be inside this one the to be matcher what it is does not only to be matcher any matcher what it is does, not any matcher means right now the to be matcher does the comparison actual value is triple equal to expected value so this is the comparison it is doing so we with this one what it will try to return so it will return either true or false so that is a matcher a matcher also has the responsibility to report to the jasmine if the expectation is true or false so this is also one of the another thing that the matcher has to do is so not only does the boolean not only implements the boolean comparison it also has the responsibility to report to the jasmine that the expectation returns true or false that the expectation what it has performed is true or false ultimately the matcher is the one who decides whether the spec should be a passing spec or a failing spec so this is the another main thing so ultimately matcher is the one who decides whether the spec should be a passing or failing so if the matcher returns uh, true means if the comparison does the true means then it is a passing spec so that means that expectation is be true automatically the spec will be true if the matcher returns the false means then the expectation will be false entire what i can say is that spec will be false so matchers there are wide variety of matchers available in the jasmine so if uh, we will learn one by one so matchers come with jasmine out of the box so there is no need to install any any other thing or something like that there is no need to install so matcher comes with jasmine out of the box so if you try to open anywhere something like jasmine okay here if you go to the like this documentation or anywhere if you go to here here you'll be able to see the matchers if you try to see here you'll be able to see the matchers matchers come with the jasmine out of the box so there is no need to install anything and here you'll be able to see the matcher not matcher and to be so this is the to be matcher we have used we'll try to use this one also so this does the triple equal to so like that so to be to be close to to be defined to be false so there are so many matchers available in the jasmine so these are all these are all some of the matchers so these let's try to see let's we'll see the about these matchers one by one so one thing you need to remember is matcher does the boolean comparison 
with the actual value and expected value and this matcher is the responsible to say that the expectation whether it is a true or false so that is a thing so where these all matchers are implemented is it will be in the jasmine.ga something like that so if you try to search something like to be so here you will be able to see function to be okay so here you will be able to see function to be so here you will be able to see the function to be something like that yeah okay so here you the tip is to check for dp equality use dot to equal so dp equality means you need to use the dot to equal they are saying so here is the function that has been implemented so here see if you try to see and what is this to be function is doing this to be function is returning an object if you try to understand so this to be function is having a object so big object it is having and it is writing the to be to be is nothing but what i can say is so this is the total thing okay so this is the total thing what is this in is returning so if you try to see here it is have this object is having a compare function okay this object is having compare function compare object uh, property and where this compare property is again a function which takes the actual and expected value and this function returns again an object okay and this function again returns an object something like pass so it is having one property pass so whether this pass is true only then that expectation will be true so whether this object the object which contains the pass is false means then that expectation enter is false so here you we here we will be able to see that to be to be implementation in the jasmine core file so like this you will be having so many to be close to so this to be close to is also the one of the matcher so here we, the implementation is there and you all the time if you try to see all the matchers are implementing or returning a com an object which contains a proper compare property and this compare pro property in return it is a function which takes the actual and expected value and in return this compare function object which a uh, compare property the function is returning again an object which contains pass property okay which contains a pass property so this pass property if it returns true means then that expectation is true if it doesn't return the pass false means then the expectation is false so this is how the implementation of matchers will be in the jasmine core language so feel free to check all these things so feel free to uh, to check these all the matchers and all these how these are implemented then you will be getting an idea about these matchers how the logic has been written and how did how these things are implemented here in the to be if you try to see here it is implementing the triple equal to but whereas in this one to be close to so they have written some logic something like pass math or round less, less than or equal to some logic so like this they have to be defined so this one is also having void zero not equal to actual so like this the matchers the logic has been implemented so there we can if you want to define our own custom matchers also we can define so we can also write our own custom matchers also we will see how to read how to write our own custom matchers so rather than using this jasmine uh, predefined matchers if you want to use the custom matchers also we can use it let's try to see that one also so this is all about the matchers hope you understood about this matchers concept so from the next video onwards you will see one by one the matcher what are the matchers that are available in the jasmine so i will not try to cover all the matchers just i will try to go one by one over you the main matchers what are available in the jasmine we will try to see it so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you